welcome to Rotorite, I'm Bobby FPV, and today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to do a knife edge. A knife edge is basically when you see a really narrow gap and you want to fly your FPV drone through it, but you can't because the gap is too narrow, it's gonna hit. I guess we have this tree here, which is a good example. I wanna fly through this tree, but I can't because the gap is too narrow. So what we do in a knife edge is we whip the drone 90 degrees, and it can fit perfectly through. So today I'm gonna to be giving you guys my tips and tricks to mastering the knife edge. Let's get to it. All right, so some tricks before we actually start flying is camera angle. The camera angle that I like to do for this trick is about 20 degrees. That's why I fly for all of freestyle, but I think a lower camera angle definitely helps with this trick just because you're not moving so fast at the gap. So if I have a lower camera angle, flying a little bit slower, I can blip my throttle, go through and catch. If I got a high angle, ooh, I'm coming in hot and like, I don't know, I think for most freestyle stuff, having a lower camera angle helps with hitting small gaps, but also just like with tight proximity flow, which is my favorite type of flying, it helps a lot with that, just having the drone be a lot slower. So the reason I have this funny looking GoPro on here is so that I can show you guys my stick cam, and the stick cam is what my thumbs are doing on the radio. So this is a pretty simple trick. Uh, there's only four main movements. We have a throttle, roll, and then a roll in the opposite direction to correct for it, and then a little blip of throttle to catch it at the end. So if you kind of think about it, we have the drone coming, blip a throttle, half roll, half roll the opposite direction to correct, and then catch the drone so that it stays at the same altitude. The reason you have the blip of throttle in the beginning is so that when you roll sideways, you don't just fall down. Because when you're sideways, you're not gonna have any thrust going, you know, propelling you up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this drone in the air and I can actually show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so let's take off here. And let's go find a gap that you don't necessarily need to fly the drone sideways through to hit. So this gap right here looks pretty nice. Let's go from the other direction so that we can see without the sun in our eyes. So yeah, as you can see, I can fly through this gap without actually having to go knife edge. But one thing, but to practice this trick, it is always best to find a tree that, you know, you can fly straight through so that you give yourself a little bit of room for error when you're just learning this trick. All right, so let's go ahead and do the knife edge here. Throttle. Blip, roll, roll, catch. So you can kind of see what I'm doing there. I made it very robotic so that you can see what I'm doing. Let's do it the opposite way. Throttle, roll, roll, oop, branch, catch. And uh, yeah, that's basically the stick movements. I'll do it one more time. Boom, boom, catch. And let's go ahead and move it to a smaller gap. So obviously you could fly through this one normally. And the knife edge is a trick that you don't always have to do on a gap that you can't fit through. You know, it's kind of a stylistic thing like, Phew. Uh, a little bit of style there. So let's go ahead and find a gap that's a little bit smaller, one that maybe the drone can actually still fly through, but you know, it's just a little bit tighter of a gap to, to hit with the drone. Let's find one. Um, let's take this one right here. So the gap is a little bit smaller than the last one we did, but definitely you, you can still fly through it straight. So let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna go from, so we're gonna go to the right. So blip, right, left, catch. We'll go ahead and do one to the left. Flip, left, catch. And the biggest thing to keeping this trick straight is when you're flying at the gap and after you do the roll, make sure that your throttle is dropped all the way to zero. Because if you're sideways and you have throttle, it's gonna pull you that direction. And you don't want that because you'll miss your gap. So let's, let, I'll just show you, for example, if I give too much throttle. So roll, oh no, I gave throttle and I missed it. So you really have to be off the throttle so that your quad floats through the gap in a straight line. And it also does help, you know, if you line it up from farther and like just straighten it out much before you hit the gap. Obviously, when you get to be more advanced in the trick, you can like link it in a line and whew, you know, do it something like that. Um, but let's go ahead and find an even smaller gap, maybe one that the drone actually has to be sideways to hit. So we're going down here. Okay, this gap looks pretty good. I can definitely not fly through this straight. I 100% have to knife edge. So let's just go ahead and try it. We're gonna do the same stick movement as before. Pitch, uh, sorry, throttle, roll, roll other way, and then throttle the catch. So here we go. There we go, see we got that. Let's go ahead and do it going to the right. Boom, there we got it. So 
That's the knife edge because this is a true knife edge. Like, cause like I said earlier, the drone cannot fit through the gap. Now, every knife edge gap is different. So this knife edge gap happens to be pretty vertical where you can actually tilt the drone perfect 90 degrees and it'll fit through. But sometimes there are gaps where they might be angled at like a 170. So let, let's see, let's find something a little bit different. So let's take this gap right here. Let me make sure there's no trees or, or nothing behind it. So this gap right here is like a little bit past 90 degrees. I'd say maybe 100, 110 degrees. So the knife edge, all the stick movements are gonna be the same. You're just gonna give a little bit more roll and blip. Oh, 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 we're up, oh. We're up, we're good, we're good. So it's a little bit more tricky when you do it like that because you're having to calculate like exactly what angle the gap is at. So boom, oh, there's a lot of ghost branches after after that, that's what I was hitting. But yeah, so that's basically the knife edge. And the knife edge, like I said, you don't have to do it when it's just 90 degrees. You can find other gaps. You can hit a gap upside down and, and still apply these same stick movements. It'll be a blip roll and then opposite roll and catch. And I'm, I'm trying to find one. Let's see if there's a, a one we can hit upside down. So this one, I think I could fly through it normally. Let's see. Yep, you can just fly through that. But I just want to show you the stick movements if you guys wanted to hit like a knife edge upside down. So here we go. Blip, blip. So blip, roll, roll, catch. Let's do it again and going this way. Blip, roll, catch. And this battery is really dead, so I'm gonna bring it back so I don't have to walk. But that's the basics of how to do knife edges. And obviously, once you guys master just doing it from a straight line, work it into your flow, work it into your flight style, add your own little flair to the trick because if everyone just does the same thing, it'll be a little bit boring. So let's see some cool knife edge combinations. Maybe you go into it backwards. So you do a half yaw and hit it backwards. I'm not gonna teach you guys that today because that's a whole nother path you gotta get down, but, but master the normal knife edge first. And I think that overall, I think the knife edge is one of the best tricks to master because it's very proximity to things. So like with this one, you're learning to fly the drone really close to objects. And at the end of the day, that's what you really wanna master because open air tricks are awesome, but I think it definitely takes a little bit more skill to like be flying really close or in between trees. Thank you guys so much for watching this trick tutorial. If you have any other questions or anything I missed about this trick, leave it in the comments below and I'll be in there answering all of them. And let me know what trick you guys wanna see next because we haven't done trick tutorial in a, in a while, but I always like doing them because it helps the community, helps beginners. So thanks guys for watching. I'm Bubby FPV and we'll see you next time on Rotorite. <laughs>